So Marlin is not changing the world of music, but he is focused on changing something that has had a lot of change in the last two decades, which is contact centers. So Marlin, come on up here, talk about Pod One and how you guys are taking this up. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the event so far. Um, I got a somewhat connection to this place. Uh, I was born in Dominica. It was, I was talking to Wayne, uh, who's, the, who's from uh, Bermuda. Um, and I came here when I was nine years old, um, when my mom married a Harvard professor and uh, was raised in Boston for a while. Um, so I have a somewhat of a connection with the Harvard Club, uh, just through association. Um, however, uh, things didn't go quite as planned. So I started uh, associating with you know, the wrong circles in Boston, which is why I have this, this shirt uh, to remind me that I'm safe, but I still have hands. Um, and uh, you know, 25 years later, I'm, I'm here speaking uh, to you guys. Uh, and I'd like to speak to you about uh, my, my company, Finero, and a new pro product that we're releasing called uh, Pod One, that we're developing called Pod One. And the way that we, we, we run our uh, organization is similar to um, how we view life. We view life as a constant challenge uh, with, with, that's filled with excitement, uh, hard work, and determination. But with the right grit, um, uh, and, and by never giving up, anything is possible. Finero is a cloud-based contact center platform that I started five years ago. I wrote the software uh, to facilitate communication between businesses and their service providers. So if you've ever gotten harassed by telemarketers, we facilitate that communication um, by developing telemarketing dialers, IVR a solution, so when you call into the bank and you're required to enter your account number, um, followed by the pound sign and just the automated systems all together, we're one of the providers that creates that technology. Uh, again, the company's five years old. We've um, grown to handle over a billion calls since launch. We're now in over uh, 20 different countries with 15 thousand enterprise users utilizing the platform on, on a daily basis. And it's all cloud-based technology utilizing Amazon's flexible infrastructure as a service. Um, so prior to launching Finero, I ran the IT department for a very large contact center based in Miami Lakes, Florida. Within that contact center, uh, I gained the experience well, and, and knowledge of the contact center industry from various perspectives. One was um, you know, the human resources, uh, the other operations, sales, etc. My department touched every other department within the organization. Um, so in thinking about the next evolution of Finero and where we should take the industry, um, we decided to develop a human resources network that is flexible, uh, and allows contact centers to staff dynam dynamically and on demand. One of the number one problems in, in contact centers is the issue of excess capacity. A recent report in the Wall Street Journal back in uh, December of last year uh, showed that there's approximately $100 billion being wasted uh, in idle time. So there are, there are employees that are coming to work that are not uh, in a utilization or product, productive capacity, yet they're still on payroll. That costs employers uh, roughly $100 billion a year. Now, within the context of, uh, context of a contact center, um, another report by Aberdeen revealed that approximately 25% of agents, customer service representatives, are spending their time doing absolutely nothing. Some <coughs> due to the lack of incoming calls and various other issues, but this is a significant issue within the contact center industry. 
just as an example, for a company running a 100 agent contact center that pays roughly $10.50 per hour, that's over half a million dollars a year in excess payroll costs that that employer has to um, essentially uh, consume as a result of, of this issue. The other issue is that of variable staffing. A report by eMarketer uh, showed that over 20% of um, uh, retail e-commerce uh, sales, or, I'm sorry, retail e-commerce sales increased by almost 20% in 2017. What this translates into for the contacts in the industry is extremely higher call volumes. I'm not sure how many of you went online to purchase, I don't know, unicorn meat or um, you know UFO uh, detectors, uh, but if you had any additional questions that couldn't be answered, you would resort to call it into the contact center, which would result in, in, in high frustration, right? Because there's an extremely long hold time. You have to interact with the system that I just talked about uh, that's the automated system that can't understand English apparently. Uh, and when you eventually get to a customer service representative, uh, there's a, a chance that your issue may not be handled appropriately. So these are real issues that are affecting real businesses in the economy, particularly in the contact center space. Um, I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen the office space, but this is Bill's solution to the problem. Um, now, the third problem is customer satisfaction. So the issue of uh, inadequate staffing, right, ends up in uh, negative DSAT customer satisfaction and, and customer dissatisfaction surveys and ultimately your net promoter score, which is a huge metric for businesses uh, in terms of customer surveys. <coughs> so POD1 essentially is a decentralized network that we're putting together where contact centers could sell their excess idle time of their agents on this network. And what that will allow contact centers to do is to continue to generate revenue from the agents that are idle, that are highly trained, by posting their time within a marketplace for other businesses who are in need of customer service uh, support uh, to, to go to. And we intend on doing so with, with the blockchain. We also uh, intend on utilizing this platform as a means to employ a larger set of individuals. So the mom that is pregnant and can't get to, to a regular day job, uh, she'll be able to log into the Pod1 network and create her own contact center of one customer service rep, which is herself, and find work within this platform. This platform would take care of all of the payment issues. Um, they would, it would further incentivize the customer service representatives by giving them rewards for meeting specific metrics. So if someone does a great job constantly on a weekly basis, which the Finero platform already tracks today, how long did Marlin take for this call? Was the customer satisfied at the end of the call? These are metrics that our existing company, Finero, is tracking that will feed real time into the Pod1 network so it can determine how to fairly compensate these representatives through the, token, uh, the tokenization uh, of, of the platform. These are some of the guys on the team, which is myself, and Colin also worked for a contact center uh, platform provider. Charles is our COO, and he came from a $1.2 billion contact center. Um, Judson runs our, our customer success. Warren is one of the top 100 people in blockchain and advises us in various matters. And Rob is uh, a CEO of a previous work at home organization that was bought out by Sykes Enterprises for $150 million. So these are some of the guys that are on the team. We're here to make this happen. We will make it happen. And it's an exciting time to be a technologist. <laughs>